What's up, Internet? My name is Brian. I'm from a DJ producer duo called Birthday Party. And today we're going to make a modern house track in the style of Fisher in Ableton Live. And we're going to do it all step by step with Arcade. Fisher is known for very powerful driving bass lines and his catchy modern representation of classic house sounds, which can be found in songs like Losing It and It's a Killer. Now, most importantly, I got my Fisher style shirt on and let's open up Arcade. So the line that we're talking about right now is a brand spanking new line called Warehouse. So we're just gonna open up and we've got all these different kits that we can use. Let's just listen to a few of them for some inspiration. I like that one, there's a nice lead on it. I'm gonna start with this kit here. This is actually a, a kit that I helped design. Let's start off with some drums, pretty easy. So we're starting on this C right here. And if I just hold this, it's just get a nice loop for me right here. And now if I put both of these on here, I just picked the first three that came to mind. That already sounded pretty nice. So I'm gonna go back into Ableton. If you're in Ableton, you can click this uh, capture MIDI button. That's just gonna capture exactly what you had just played last. Nice on the grid, everything like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it kind of all the way out. Make sure our quantize settings are great and quantize. And now we're got, let's just go up to like a nice 125. That's a, a good Fisher type tempo. Let's see if there's anything else on this kit that I want to use right away. Yeah, nice little open hi-hat. So we're just going to copy this all the way up here. What I like to do here is, you know, start with a little bit of an arrangement. We'll just have intro, build up, build up, this cuts for a beat, and then we drop. So maybe the intro's got everything. This first section, I'm just gonna join those together, take out the kicks. And then as this build up happens that we build, we'll have a drop here. So let's work on a baseline for a song. We're gonna go and find some kind of note kits. So let's go search note kits warehouse and see what we got here. I just wanna pick some kind of chunky baseline. I like that. It's nice and, and powerful and, and kind of juicy. So we're just going to download that real quick. Playing two notes that are one semitone next to each other. It's given a kind of dark bass line, kind of minor. Um, and I found something that I kind of like. So we're going to go ahead. We've got a little loop here. I think I might need to double the length of this loop, duplicate this guy. And I'm just going to hit record and see what we get. So we've got something in there. I'm just going to mess around with it and make it play a little bit more to my liking. Let's just take a little loop like this. Let's give these a good quantize. And I'm just gonna touch this up to be closer to what I want. Make these notes a little bit longer. And then just for a little bit of consistency, I'm gonna make sure this kind of first bit and this last bit are the same. Now here's what I like to do for my bass lines. If I turn loop on here, we've got a repetition of the same thing, and then I can just consolidate this and now give a little bit of variation for this last bit.
So now that we got that, let's find some other elements to play with. Cool, let's actually pull this one. I like that stab in there. Now, uh, we know that we're in E minor. I just kind of picked that. And what I want to do is actually adjust and transpose my kit. So I'm in E minor. So I can go major minor. And if you go down, negative four semitones. So let's hit capture. Now we got that. And I'm actually just going to loop this little section. Bam. What I want to do is actually have an alternate of this stab doing like the response, but also be a semitone up. So here's what I'm going to do. Duplicate Arcade. I'm going to take the same one. Now, if I just solo this channel and change the you know pitch of it to be F minor instead of E minor, you're just going to bump everything a semitone up. That's a little bit higher, and it's still all in time with that nice little quick delay. Down, 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 down. That's kind of what I'm going for. Let's sew these two. I like that. Cool. Now we need a build up. Let's get a build up. I actually like the snare drum on there. And what I want to do is actually just kind of grab this and be able to use this as a regular snare drum. And we're just going to move the playhead a little bit forward just so that I can hit this. And I'm not going to be holding it. I'm going to be actually playing in the snare drums. I want to make it 16th notes. And then I want to have a ka 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 ka, maybe uh, a snare or maybe a hat, but we'll just put in for the snare. And then let's actually get that clap on that note. So to get that to happen, I just got to copy this little note here, take out everything but the clap, which I believe was that one. So uh, we've got that kind of percussive-y delayed thing in the background. I'm going to actually remove this for a second. That way it gives something for us to add to later. Now, let's pull up another arcade. So I'm looking for things that are cool. So I like that. Let's pull that up. Uh, so I like this note, but I, in the advanced tab here, what I can do is actually transpose this down. I want this to be a little bit lower. Cool. So now that can play on a downbeat. Let's find something else, maybe anything else in this kit. So now I just have a, li a little bit of other flair to kind of go in here. I'm going to just duplicate my arcade out here. Find something shiny. Ooh. I really like that ratcheting effect. Now let's get that recorded in there. I think I want it to be right on that downbeat. Or maybe like something like right here. Let's go with that. Let's really quick just add a transition effect. Or 
let's find one more effect to kind of go on here. So I think between these, we'll be able to get something down. See, I don't like that other one, but that's fine. We got so many cool effects that we can just keep going. So we got a nice little bit of a pattern going. I'm just seeing if there's anything last minute that we can pick up to throw in here. Ooh, let's add some uh, echo in here. Lo-fi. Nice. Nice. See, this, these macros just have a nice little bit of flavor that we can add in here. Why don't we use this as like a little bit of a turnaround? Touch this up and we're going to actually remove this bit. Now the last thing that I want to do is actually group all of our uh, non-drum elements. And let's, we're going to actually do a bit of sidechain compression. Long story short, sidechain compression is going to compress one group of, you know, elements, bases and synths or whatever, based on the input signal from another channel. In this case, we're going to do our kick drum. So to do that, I'm just going to quickly duplicate out our arcade, make this one dedicated for the kick. We're going to have to go in here, delete all of our kick drums, and uh, go in here and delete everything but the kick drums. Throw a compressor on here. Set our input from the kick. Lower our threshold. A nice little duck for everything. Ah, I actually know what we want. So here, let's go here, and we're actually going to create our baseline, have it go all the way up here, and we're going to just kind of filter it out during this buildup. Filter out a bunch of the lows and mids. Filter out a bunch of the highs. For good measure, we're going to just take it down a couple dBs. So I think we have a winner. Let's listen to see what we got. Pre-drop vocal. Thanks everyone for tuning in. For more tutorials like this, check out output.com.